The difference between a good, modern-day sport bike and the bike people are most likely to go out and buy is millimeters. It's one extra line of code, a few horsepower, or a bit less weight. Suzuki's GSX-R1000 has lacked a little bit of everything these past couple of years, but for 2017, that all changes with a new chassis, engine, and electronics package. Suzuki wants its king of the superbike crown back, and this is the bike it plans to earn it with. I should back up and write bikes, seeing as how the platform includes a base GSX-R1000 and higher spec GSX-R1000R. The latter of which I had the chance to hustle around the Phillip Island circuit in Melbourne, Australia, earlier this week. The bikes share an engine, frame, and body work, but on the R you get upgraded show a suspension, more advanced electronics, and a long list of smaller details, including, for example, a lighter weight battery. These are exciting things if you're a GSXR fan or happen to be in the market for a new litter bike. The last time Suzuki paid any attention to its GSX-R1000 was in 2012, updated exhaust, suspension, and brakes, and the last major update was in 2009. You could have bought $5 worth of newly invented bitcoins that same year and since made enough money off them to buy something like one GSX-R1000R for every track day you plan to do in 2017. Things happen in 8 years.